Okay, so we're back at the Big Kid Woodlot again. Um, not too long after we were here the first time with the 088 versus the Psycho SSS, S, whatever it is, 395, which completely annihilated the 088 in stock form. We have since modified the 088 a little bit. I'm smelling some redemption going on here, personally. Um, we have a 42-inch general bar for my collection. We're sporting some Oregon 51 AJ chain on it, which is 404. Um, what the 51 stands for is it has um, 0.058 width or thickness drivers. Um, an old roller nose bar I had from all oh, years ago, pulled it out of the collection. So we're going to get the 395 spinning up to around that, I don't know, mid-13 or 14 range or something, I guess. We'll have to listen to the sound of the engine to see how it responds. And then we're going to do another little run with the 080, excuse me, the 880, um, and see how it does this time. So thanks to Master Peyton for coming out and giving me a hand. Um, it's freezing hard overnight still. And so these logs are still a little frozen, I'm noticing, because we've been sawing on some other ones out here today. Um, just thought I'd make that as a side note. And we're at about 2,800 feet in elevation, so the air is a little thin compared to some other locations. Also, point of interest, so let's torch off to 395. So as I was noticing, 
I don't know if you can see the shininess in the edge of the teeth or not, but I kind of think I got into something on this run or maybe possibly the last run, who knows. Um, I'm trying not to cut all the way through, but I'm trying to get down to where the power head sets on the ground as well. So, just as an interesting side note again. You don't need to space on this one, right? No. Okay. Still makes three different stud sizes that I know of. And this is the technically the big mount still. Mm. And that plus barna is technically the big mount plus barna and they're definitely different. Okay. We're talking about three millimeters, I think it is. not working. My evil plan. Grab that piece. Thank you. Maybe God will be smiling on me. This thing is powerful.
I know. So, it seemed like this saw is pulling better. The chain kind of hammered, I can tell, from the whole process. Um, obviously, that saw is no longer sporting the stock OEM fitment, fitted fitment 11.5 limited coil since we saw the thing spin up to about 13. Um, you can still hear it missing really good. I'm kind of disappointed in the chain. Um, it's, it's just not quite right. I'm curious to see how it compares to the 395 now. Um, we're going to have to get this chain thing dialed in. And I'm smelling a grudge match with Cousin Gary's 088, which is the next level down. This has first stage of combustion chamber work. Um, but like I said, the chain is pretty hammered. So anyway, thanks to Master Peyton for coming out and giving me a hand. It's always nice when he's around to help with the tack operation. Thanks for watching this session wherever you might be on God's green earth.